How's it going, Eliminators? I got some exciting news to share with you today, so let's get right into it. So as Eliminator performance grows, I'm also trying to grow our YouTube channel. And right now we're at the highest number of views, watch time, subscribers. So again, guys, thanks a lot for subscribing and thank you for leaving all the thumbs up. It really helps me out. YouTube's gonna be introducing a new policy pretty soon and I'm gonna address that in a future video by itself. But right now I just wanna talk about the growth of this channel. So like I said, as the company grows, I'm also trying to grow the YouTube channel. And with that comes new associates and new sponsors. So as you may have seen, in previous videos I'm always using a bunch of different products and they're normally from the same brand and that's Permatex. So what I did was I sent an email and reached out to Permatex Canada their corporate you know headquarter email address and in this email basically I put in that uh, you know I use their products all the time and I have a YouTube channel we're a business and in my videos I'm always recommending their brands to use because uh, you know the products that they make they're great products and I wouldn't recommend them for use unless they were good products so what I did basically was I put a couple screenshots and some links to my YouTube videos where I'm using their products and I sent out the email not really expecting much and then I got an email back thanking me for recommending their products to my viewers and that they would be more than happy to send out a little box of uh, oh, goodies I guess you could say now when I read this I thought I'd get maybe a couple little items but I never would have thought I would have got what I ended up getting and I was blown away when I opened up this package guys so let's have a look at what I got so without further ado how's that for a gift package so I'm completely absolutely blown away by what Permatex Canada sent me and I had no idea that Permatex Canada owned so many other brands because we got a bunch of stuff here guys so there's quite a bit of stuff here to process so basically I'm just gonna go one by one in a lot of my videos I'm using nickel anises and they sent not one but two Permatex nickel anises so basically we have more than enough for any job we need I can slap that on like crazy and I'll never have to worry about anything seizing ever again Permatex also makes a disc brake quiet basically that's just a spray you spray it on and uh, if you got squeaky brakes it takes care of that I can always use that on ATVs that have disc brakes and we also have a silicone ceramic brake lubricant that's for your calipers so I can put that on any ATV that's got uh, again disc brakes with calipers that I need to lubricate and I could be using that stuff right there there's not going to be any order to this I'm kind of just picking something and going we got up here the right stuff it's an easy loading gasket kit so this stuff here guys basically it's uh, almost like a caulking gun that they have and uh, you load it up with one of those tubes at the bottom so if you ever got a big job that requires quite a bit of uh, you know gasket material you can load up one of those things and just lay it on thick not only did we get a gasket gun we also got some Permatex spray on gasket so this stuff here basically uh, like it says high tack spray a gasket that's made by Permatex it's a gasket sealant fast drying all purpose basically you shake this thing up you spray it on whatever you need to you let it dry and there you go remains flexible and tacky just like a gasket so if I ever have like a, a tricky area where I can't necessarily cut a gasket and I don't have the ability or the time to go out and buy one I can just use some of that stuff shake up the can spray it on and uh, once it dries it'll be basically just like a gasket and if I ever have to remove that material boom we have gasket remover so this stuff you spray it on and it, like it says it removes gaskets in terms of electrical stuff we got some really cool goodies we got some dielectric grease here so you want to put that inside of your high tension lead or your spark plug cap now this stuff guys is an insulator it doesn't make anything more conductive now I've seen a lot of videos where guys use this and they put it directly on the spark plug cap uh, you don't want to do that you want to put it around the spark plug cap Basically, this stuff is an insulator, guys, not a conductor. So it will maximize your spark and prevent voltage loss by allowing the spark to go where it should go. We also got some battery cleaner. So if I ever have a riding lawnmower or a ATV with a battery that has acid buildup all over the terminals, I can take a little bit of this stuff, spray it on, and it'll come right off. Now, this stuff here is made by Permatex, but Permatex also owns a company called Gummo. I also got... A battery protector and sealer so once the battery is clean I can take a little bit of that stuff 
spray it on top of the terminals and I should never have to worry about those terminals corroding ever again. And just so you guys know, for full transparency, this is not paid. So I'm not getting paid to say any of this stuff. Basically, I reached out to them and I said, listen, I use your products in my videos all the time and I'm constantly recommending your brand of products to my viewers. And I said, you know, would you guys be able to send me out a couple of little items? And uh, I thought maybe I'd get a little bit of nickel anises and uh, a couple of little things, but you know, this was a whole box of stuff. I couldn't believe it when I felt the weight of the package when uh, the delivery guy came to my door. I'm totally blown away by this. I want to thank Permatex for sending out all this cool stuff. I'm going to use every bit of this that they did send out. Some more than others, but I'm sure sooner or later we'll get to use some of the other cool stuff that they did send. You guys can also see on the outsides here, we have some Spray 9 cleaner. So if I ever have to clean something up, I'm going to spray some of this on it. This is heavy duty cleaner, and I can tell you guys this stuff works awesome. I've already been using it on a bunch of jobs, and it basically cuts through grease like you wouldn't believe. Now you guys have probably seen my 64 Snowbird video, so I ended up doing the belts on that as well, which uh, that video will be posted probably in the next couple weeks. And that thing had a ton of grease and nasty belt residue built up all over the back shroud that covers the, the belts on the rear end. So I used some of this stuff here, guys. The Spray 9, it cut through the grease like you wouldn't believe, and it was safe on the paint. And continuing on, we have some thread locker. So we have some blue thread locker and some red. So this red stuff, guys, that's if you don't want it to come out. You guys have always seen me using blue thread locker. I like it the most because you can put it in and for the most part the bolt will stay in there or the nut will stay onto the threaded stud that you put it onto. But if you absolutely need to make sure that it stays on, go ahead and use some red thread locker. So Permatex also sent a little bit of that out because I use that in my videos as well. Moving on from there, we have some chain lube and some belt dressing. Again, gum out products. So if you got any squeaky belts, you spray some of this on there. Or if you got a slipping belt, uh, that might be good for using if uh, a customer doesn't want to replace a belt. So maybe they got a slipping belt, but they don't want to go through the uh, repair. So you could spray a little bit of that on and it might give you a little bit extra life on it. And you guys can see in the top right of your screen now, that's a little uh, ATV video that I did. I use this stuff all the time. And you want to make sure that if you're running equipment with a chain, you want to make sure that that chain's lubed, guys. And with that comes a little bit of our multi-system gum out tune-up. So this stuff here, you put it into your vehicle. It's for gas, ethanol, diesel, and oil. It'll completely clean your fuel system. But the one thing that it does do, guys, is removes carbon buildups within your combustion chamber. And moving on to one of the obvious things here, we have some extreme hand cleaner. So when you're done working and you want to get cleaned up, you can use some of this fast orange extreme it's got the pumice in it so when you use it it cleans your hands right up it'll take grease oil everything off your hands and for all the ladies out there makes your hands smell nice too moving on from the hand cleaner we have some disposable gloves didn't even know they made them but permatex makes rubber gloves as well so normally i don't use rubber gloves but if i'm working on anything like uh, let's say a transmission where you don't want any dirt getting into it i use gloves working on stuff like that so if i ever need them i got them now moving on from the gloves to stuff that i use all the time we have some small engine carb and choke cleaner along with some gum out carburetor cleaner i use this stuff all the time and uh, I was kind of thankful for them to include that in here because uh, like I said guys, I'm always using this stuff. Carburetor cleaner comes in handy a lot of times guys. If you ever have a machine that has a fuel pump and you've drained out the fuel completely from the system and then you go to start it up, uh, even though you have gas in the tank, it might not prime the fuel pump. So what you do is you take a little bit of this stuff, you take your air filter off, you spray it right into your carburetor and uh, because this stuff is flammable and combustible, it uh, basically starts your engine and it will prime your fuel system. Neat little trick to do if you're ever in a pinch. And along with the carburetor cleaner, they also sent us a can of brake cleaner as well. That stuff is highly corrosive and you don't want to use brake cleaner if you're cleaning a carburetor because brake cleaner is even more corrosive than this stuff here, guys. If you're changing brake pads or you just did some fresh brake rotors, basically you don't want any oil residue on there. And from the factory, these brake rotors, doesn't matter what kind they are, they have like a little oily residue. And basically that's just a rust preventative so that they don't rust by the time you get them back to your house. So again, you got to take some brake cleaner to them to get all of that nasty stuff off. And this stuff, guys, it works just as well as you'd think. It completely strips anything other than the metal off of that. Moving on from the carburetor cleaner, because yes, there is still more stuff if we go into the back here we have even more stuff here 
So we have some liquid electrical tape. Never saw this stuff before, but I think it's really cool. So if you ever have uh, anything that you need to get covered up, like let's say you have a wire that's uh, stripped off its rubber protective coating, but you don't want to splice a wire or uh, put in a butt connector or uh, anything like that. So basically you can take this stuff, it comes in a can with a little brush on it, and you just brush it on. Basically it's like a liquid rubber that goes on and then it hardens, but it remains flexible. And you guys can see it resists moisture and weather so I'm assuming this stuff is waterproof once you make a good seal and uh, this stuff is awesome I'm definitely going to be using this I can tell this is going to come in handy sooner or later and with that they also sent us some epoxy so we got some uh, general purpose epoxy and we have some self mixing epoxy uh, the setup time for this is about five minutes you guys can see right there so what that means is uh, so you take your cap off this is basically like a syringe. You push out what you need. You can mix it up on the one or the other is self-mixing and uh, it will hold up to 3400 PSI and uh, after five minutes it will become rock hard. Now it says it can be drilled, machined, filed, and painted. It bonds to metal, hard plastic, rubber, fiberglass, chrome, glass, fabric, ceramic, and wood. Awesome stuff to use. We've used this stuff before and if you ever have to repair anything that's plastic that you can't weld, instead of like melting other stuff to it. You use this stuff, you let it set up, and then you can sand it right down. This stuff works awesome, guys. Great product to use. And you know we gotta make our machines here at Illuminator Performance look good. So last but not least, we have some Black Magic Tire Wet. So I didn't even know that Black Magic was part of the Permatex brand. And out of all the products that they offered, basically I just made a little list of stuff that I could use, and it was much smaller than what I ended up getting. And uh, yeah, I couldn't be more thrilled uh, we use tire shine all the time, so now we're going to be sticking to black magic. And like I said, guys, I'm just completely blown away by what they sent out. I never, ever would have expected all this cool stuff. And uh, again, you know, I'm going to use every single bit of this stuff eventually. It'll all get used. I'll let you know what I think about every single one of the products. Most of them I've used. Um, the battery cleaner works great. The nickel anti-seize, I use that stuff all the time. Uh, the spray nine, again, works wonders. The hand cleaner, probably the best hand cleaner there is. Thread locker, I use that stuff all the time. Carburetor cleaner, same thing. I've never used any of this brake disc quiet stuff, so I'm uh, looking forward to using a little bit of that. The tire shine, basically any machine that we sell, we spray some tire shine on there. And using tire shine on a machine is uh, kind of like painting in a sense. If you have an engine that, uh, you know, is a black engine, but the black is faded and there's a little bit of rust showing, you're not going to be able to get top dollar for your equipment. But if you sand that down and you hit it with some high gloss black high heat paint, and make it shine, make it look really nice, give it that good presentation. You can increase your asking price probably by 50 bucks just for using maybe like less than $5 worth of paint. And the same thing can be said for a little bit of tire shine. You know, you put some of that on your equipment, uh, it just looks nicer, it's uh, more appeasing to the eye, and uh, the customer sees it and it looks newer instead of looking older with like faded paint, stuff like that. So I wanted to get this on video just to show my appreciation to uh, the people at Permatex. Again, thank you so much for sending this stuff out. I will use every little bit of it. You guys can also see that we got uh, a new workbench or at least a new top. So we used a little bit of uh, old bamboo flooring and uh, it's really nice. It's kind of a little slippery. So if I s put something on here, uh, it won't stick to the uh, to the thing and kind of gouge in like it was before. We were using like a really cheap like a MDF top to it and uh, it wasn't that great and uh, it got pretty discolored. This stuff, if we get a little bit of oil or whatever, we just wipe it right off. We also painted the backdrop, so if I'm filming, it just kind of lightens everything up a little bit because we have the LED lighting up top here, and uh, yeah, I think it just uh, makes everything look a lot more presentable, and I think it turned out great. And going back to the garage door here, the old man got bored one night, and I came out here, and well, half the garage door was painted, so he replaced all the red tuck tape with uh, Gorilla Tape, painted the whole garage door black, and like I said, it gives me a nice little backdrop now to do my uh, video intros and stuff like that. Also took some cardboard, cut out a couple logos here, EP, I think it looks really nice. So again, if I want to do a video intro or something like that, I could do it right here, and it gives me a nice backdrop to film now, and I think that uh, that looks pretty cool as well.
turned out great. So again, I want to thank Permatex for sending this out. I know it's going to be a big help for our YouTube channel. I got a lot of awesome products that I get to use here and a couple new ones that I get to test out as well. YouTube's making some policy changes and it is affecting our channel, unfortunately. I will be addressing that in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. But basically, that's it for now. If you guys enjoyed the video, you can click here to subscribe and you can click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every week, so be sure to come on back next week. Check out what we got new on the channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.